Hello, my name is Owen, and today I will be reviewing Joe Abercrombie's The Red Country. Uh, about a month or so back, I reviewed uh, another one of his standalone novels uh, in the first Law Universe, uh, The Heroes. So if you haven't seen that review, uh, go check it out. Um, but jumping right into it, what I want to do with this review is give a brief overview of what the book is about and tell you things that I liked and tell you things that I didn't like. Um, so starting with the overview, this book uh, follows two POV characters uh, mainly. Uh, the first being Shy South, a young woman uh, who lives on a farm uh, with her adopted father, Lamb, and a couple of her siblings. But then the inciting incident is um, her younger siblings get kidnapped uh, by a group of bandits, thugs that are kidnapping kids, burning their farms down, and leaving. Uh, so Shy and Lamb find out their... Um, that the young kids have been taken and they set off after them into the red country and the other pov character is a man named temple he's a part of a um, nasty mercenary squad like basically of no morals but he's like struggling with what he is doing in his life and whether or not he's doing the right thing and eventually uh these two pov characters cross paths um going into the things that i liked um joe abercrombie's action sequences are always super entertaining to watch and uh, his character work is always uh, his strongest suit, uh, I think. Uh, in particular, I don't really want to give a spoiler, but the character of Lamb, if you read the original First Law trilogy, he is a very familiar face uh, under a different name. So if you're reading that, you'll learn who that is. And I must say, um, this is kind of pairing it with the for his first trilogy, the First Law trilogy as well, but this particular character is probably one of the best um medieval fantasy characters of all time just because of how interesting it is and it plays on a very um classical literature trope and if you know the character that i'm talking about you probably know what i'm referencing but i don't want to give you the details because it kind of spoils his whole sh his whole shtick um so honestly i would recommend reading his first law trilogy before this one unlike the heroes i feel like this one doesn't stand alone as well because lamb really does carry this book in my opinion which kind of goes into things that I didn't like. Honestly, this is my least favorite Joe Abercrombie book I think that I've read just because um, I didn't really feel like the plot was moving as fast uh, as it should have been, I guess. Like I told you the inciting incident and that is like basically the plot of the whole thing, but there's a lot of like meandering. Um, and usually uh, Aber Abercrombie's books aren't really plot focused necessarily. They're usually more character focused anyway. But this time it really stuck out to me that there wasn't really much of a plot. And it just really dragged it down for me. I think this is like the slowest I read one of his books. Because even though there's some points where you're just flying through it, a lot of it's just like, okay, well, we're out of town. We're going to talk to some people and there's some drama. But why is the drama important? It's not. Um, and it didn't build... While I liked the POV characters, they weren't as engaging and their arcs really were pretty obvious from the start. And I would say Shy's arc is really non-existent. She kind of stays the same throughout with like minor changes. And I wasn't just, I wasn't as gripped uh, by this, by this story, honestly, overall. I would still recommend it if you're a fan of Abercrombie and of this first law world purely because of Lamb. But that's why I recommend reading his original trilogy first to get really that um background of that character beforehand um but yeah i think it's my lowest ranking of the books um definitely lower than the first trilogy and then definitely lower than the heroes and that's all the books i've read so um that's all i got for you guys so check it out if you meet the criteria i stated and if not it's a good one to skip thank you